Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. I am in Rockingham, Vermont uh, today. This is uh, about a two hours drive for me to come down here. But I uh, wanted to film the uh, Rockingham Meeting House, which is this building right here in front of us. So the Rockingham Meeting House, also known as the uh, Old North Meeting House and First Church in Rockingham, is an historic civic and religious building on Meeting House Road in uh, Rockingham, Vermont. In fact, that right down there is Meeting House Road. The meeting house was built between 1787 and 1801 and was originally used for both congregational church meetings as well as civic and governmental meetings. Church services ceased in 1839, but town meetings continued to be held in, uh, in it until 1869. It was restored in 1906 and has been preserved. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 2000 as an exceptionally well-preserved second period colonial style meeting house. The building, owned by the town, is available for weddings and other events under rules established by the town. The Rockingham Meeting House is set on the north side of Meeting House Road on a parcel of land that's about four acres or 1.6 hectares in size that it shares with the town's original burial ground. Uh, let's see. Can we see that? It's kind of dark, I admit, but um, don't know if that helps at all. That definitely, definitely doesn't help. Anyway, I'm going to be walking that in another video pretty shortly, since I'm finished with this one. Um, and we do a walk around, of course. Uh, let me see. The oldest marked graves date back to 1776. Meeting House Road is uh, the location of Rockingham's original town center, laid out after the French and Indian War ended in 1763 with the overall victory of Great Britain against France in the Seven Years' War. The building is a large two-story timber frame structure with a single gable roof. clabbered siding, and a granite foundation. That's the foundation there. The main south-facing facade is five bays wide. With a symmetrical but slightly irregular placement of windows around the center entry. Let's see how irregular that is. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> so a bit of a hint of federal style, although it is odd that they are uh, not even with one another. You can see, for instance, oh, come here. You can see, for instance, how wide a gap there is there compared to there. But above, it is still a wide gap. There is one single window up here and then over here. We have the same uh, interestingly wide gap right here. And this one is narrower and that window is just downright crooked. Interesting. The main entrance is flanked by pilasters and topped by an entablature and triangular pediment. This glorious bit right here. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. And such fancy pilasters. So the pilaster, uh, these are pilasters right here. That one and this one here, they're both fluted. And uh, the pilasters are columns built into a wall. 
Enclosed two-story gable-roofed stairwell L's extend from each side of the building with a similarly decorated south-facing entrance. The main entrance opens into a central hallway through a floor filled with box pews to the pulpit area, which features the original sounding board. The second floor gallery, which wraps around three sides of the building, is also lined with box pews. The elevated pulpit area is 7 feet or 2.1 meters wide and is accessed by stairs on its left side. The pulpit is one of the few unoriginal elements of the building having been restored in 1906. The only other significant alterations have been to replace windows. The town of Rockingham was first settled by primarily Anglo-American colonists after the French and Indian War ended in 1763. Discussion about the construction of a meeting house began in 1771 and culminated in the construction of a building at this site in 1774. That building remained in use until the construction of the current one, which was approved by the town meeting in 1787. Documentation is unclear about when the building was completed. The first recorded town meeting was held in this building in 1792, at which time it was not complete. The town in that year approved use of the building by local Christian congregations for services. I just love that front door. I could look at that all day. Um, over the ensuing years, the various church congregations built their own buildings. The original congregation group ended its services here in 1838 as people's religious affiliations changed. The building continued to be used for town meetings until a new town hall was constructed in Bellows Falls in 1869. The original pulpit was removed about 1850, and most of the original benches lining the pulpit area were removed. Although the building was vacant for many years, its exterior was maintained. The interior was subjected to vandalism, vandalism and the theft of artifacts including door hardware and hand-cut nails. <sighs> After being unused for many years, the building was restored by the town in 1906. The first Old Home Day and pilgrimage to the Meeting House was held in August 1907. It narrowly escaped the fire which burned much of the adjacent Rockingham Village on April 14, 1908. A Meeting House Association was formed in 1911 through the efforts of Professor Franklin Hooper, director of the Museum of the Brooklyn Institute. Hooper was the great-great-grandson of one of the original members of the First Church of Rockingham at its organization in 1773. The building was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1979 and was declared a National Historic Landmark in 2000. It is an extremely well-preserved example of a second-period colonial meeting house in which the principal entrance was on the long wall. Its setting is still reminiscent of how it would have appeared at the time of its construction. Its landmark designation includes the building, cemetery, and receiving tomb. All right, let's do a walk around of this place. And look at that gorgeous dental molding up here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is not to love about that? Except for the, the, the poor guy who had to do it. <laughs> and dental molding certainly in the pediment and the base of the entablature as well. And look at these fluted uh, pilasters. Uh, the fluting um, this is the fluting right here, these uh, ridges. This, this part is the fluting. Wow. Pretty doggone amazing. Actually, is it open? I, I think I just missed this place being open. It's a locked. Oh well. Now, one thing I would say is if you're thinking this could be original glass, they did say they replaced it. Not sure when they replaced it, but note how wavy the uh, glass is, right? Can you, can you tell that? Is that noticeable? <laughs> I don't know if that's noticeable or not. But 
don't automatically think that it's old because it has these uh, bubbles in the glass. And if you can see that, you'd sort of see it. Um, and waves because there's a there are uh, glass restoration companies that that make glass that look like that to make it look old. So yeah, just don't be don't be thinking oh that's gotta be old. It may not be. In fact, let's see if I can get uh, any. Uh... Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm not sure what you can see in there. I am I am not tall enough. Uh, by a good foot to look into these windows. So, uh, and look at these nails. Wow. Pretty, uh, pretty fancy. Pretty fancy nails. All right, let's see. So this would have been a stairway L. I'm glad to see gutters on the building. <laughs> they really do protect a building from the water that pours off the roof. Wow. It looks like natural light. I can see. See uh, inside there along here. That looks like natural light to me. Uh, there is still sunshine, though it's it's there's barely any sunshine at this point. I'm going to admit this door is locked as well. Yep, sure is. Oh well. Steps look like they're granite as well. Porta potty. <laughs> I think I'll wait. If you want to see my pictures, you can see them on um, Instagram at Traveling for History or uh, hashtag Traveling for History 101 or um, Facebook Traveling for History. If you want to follow me on Facebook, please, please, uh, if you want to follow me on either side, please do. The more the merrier. Oh wow, yeah, you can see the light just pouring in from the sun. There is some sun over here, but mostly it's just clouding up. This weekend is supposed to pour. I think uh, tomorrow a 91% chance of rain, both where I live and down here, just all over the state. Wow, isn't that beautiful? And these are double hung windows too. Let's see, can I show this to you? See right here? You can open and close the windows. They're double hung. Which is pretty nice to be able to do. And here we go, friends. Look at these old headstones. Wow. And some that have fallen, certainly. Ah, top old tombstones. But these tombstones, uh, this graveyard, is on the uh, National Historic uh, Register as well, part of the National History Landmark, Historic Landmark. I, I think that's fantastic, quite frankly. Looks well cared for. Grass is cut. That's a good thing. Frost thieves don't care who you were in life. Mother Nature doesn't care. Well, this fence is uh, leaning and actually chained. It is chained right there. Woohoo! All right, soon enough for the uh, for that. Ooh, right.
and this is window in the center completely as I was looking at the cemetery. Look at that center window, that rounded top. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Not stained. It's not a stained glass window, from what I can tell, because this is, of course, a town, it was a town hall as well, but uh, still, still beautiful. And this would be the other L, um, stairwell L, uh, this, this uh, area right here. I cannot see through my viewfinder, really. Wheelchair accessible. That's always good. Speaking as someone who sometimes uses a, walk uses a walker, that's very good. I can climb stairs with my aluminum walker, you know, the kind that our grandparents would use, that kind. But uh, I don't want to. It's not safe. All right, so the long wall they were talking about, we can see from uh, this angle, this is definitely the long wall of the building. And uh, the front door, the central door, is right in the middle of it. So, yeah. All righty, so this was the Rockingham... This is, <laughs> this video is about the uh, Rockingham Meeting House in uh, Rockingham, Vermont. So thanks so much for coming with me today. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. And until the next time I see you, you have a great evening. Thanks so much. Bye.